Well, today was always going to be a tough assignment, but what was your overall thoughts on the game, Nigel? As you say, it was always going to be a challenging game. We've come away from home against the league leaders who are on great form, it's fair to say. We obviously gave ourselves an uphill challenge. We needed to probably, they can go direct. They've got a big threat in the team. They can go direct from the back. They can play out from the back. We did something in training yesterday to try and... Uh, give ourselves an opportunity to stop them playing and make sure we compact. One player, unfortunately, through his enthusiasm, has gone totally chasing out and left his space in the middle of the pitch where he's been able to pick the ball up and play. Is it offside for the through ball? There's your VAR decision. Hasn't gone our way today on that one. So obviously after five minutes, we're behind. You think, here we go. Great resilience from the players. We've had to with that. We've been in there. Dennis nearly had an opportunity, just gone over the crossbar. We had to try and give ourselves a chance. We're in the game. Half time, one nil down, away from home. Reality is we've got 50 minutes to go, still in the game. Second half, two minutes into the game. You know, Harvey Saunders is sent off for a, a second bookable offence. Um, difficult from where I was on uh, from the dugout. He's obviously asking our players to be committed. He's chased the play down. I think he's made contact with the ball first, but the referees deemed it. I say, I've not seen it back on video yet. Uh, the referees deemed it uh, a second yellow. Um, Again, that's a VAR decision. This and the other changes the complexion again. Away from home, state of play, one nil down against the league leaders who are a good side. You can see that. So we've got to adapt a little bit, and uh, you know we're trying to block up spaces, but we created chances. Yeah, I mean they're going to have a few chances. Get that. But we created chances. The goalkeeper's pulled off two great saves from Robbie after who looked lively in there. You know you've got to pick and pick and choose your moments. You've got to be resilient in your defence. You've got to allow them to have the ball, slow the game down. All these things you've got to do to manage it. Uh, and for large parts, we've gone and done it. Robbie, after I said, had two great opportunities. Connor Jennings had an opportunity, just goes past the post. Shot goes in, goalkeeper pops, pops it out. Christian Dennis, VAR again, has gone the wrong side for us. I've, I've, I've managed to see it back, and you think he's on side there. Lines was not give it. There we go, there's reality. So it's. Uh, on another day, we maybe get the VAR decisions. Today, we haven't got the VAR decisions. We were against the league leaders. They're top of the league. They get them. We're bottom of the league. We haven't got them. Sending offs obviously has changed the complexion of the game in a big way for the second half. Uh, but we created chances. Big push for us, trying to find positives. We've got uh, Luke Norris on the pitch, 15 minutes. We didn't have a long extra to go and be, so I'm tempted to put him on a bit earlier, but we have to be mindful of that. There's five minutes in the end, so he's had a good 20, 25 minutes there. And you can see he's, uh, he's going to be a threat for us, which is going to be good. Shame I couldn't have Christian Dennis in him at the same time. Uh, but for me, we're up against it. We've said that. We've come away from home. We've created chances. Probably a little bit of our un undoing. Obviously, the second goal, we've got to throw in. No, no stage have we looked to do long throws. Our centre-backs have stayed back. And we've decided naively to throw the ball in the box. And we've not set up to ring the box. Uh, and they've gone and done that and you know they've gone and made it a little bit more challenging for us but we stuck at the task you know we've gone over to applaud the, the fans who've traveled again which is tough for the fans we know that but we've gone over and uh, we've got to stick together and uh, as a group you know, we'll as i say we'll we'll look to learn this lessons from this one and get ourselves ready for the next game we've got something in midweek then obviously we're on the cup trail starting next week yeah as you say you know conceding two goals you know and one so early as well i mean I suppose to try and make that upward push, you know, stop and consider you talk about individual mistakes, but also it's a team game as well and you're making mistakes as a team too. Well, that's what we're doing. It's, it's all of us together, uh, but we've responded. You know, you don't want to go, you don't want to concede away from go home early against the league leaders who are in great form and we have done, but we've responded. We've stayed in the game at half time. The game's still alive. You know, anything could happen. As you say, in the first half, Christian Dennis just knocks it over the post. Connor Jennings has a little opportunity. Defining moments sometimes they go in, they're not going in for us at the moment in time. Uh, as I said, the goalkeeper's pulled off two great saves from Robbie Apter, who's uh, he's had a really good game today. You know, I've started him for the first time instead of coming on and make the impact. And um, you know, he's uh, you can see again the threat that he poses for us. So I was pleased about that. But as you say, you, know, the, you talked about the away form, and you know that's the disappointment, isn't it? I mean, somehow you've got to try and put a, a finger in the dike and, and get results. I mean, today was obviously going to be very, very difficult, but that's going to be vital going forward. Well, of course it is. Uh, and obviously, from our point of view, the, the first goal that we've conceded. You know, something we we wanted to address. Through enthusiasm, one player's gone and jumped out of shape just to try and close down. Through his naive enthusiasm, but it was enthusiastic all the same. Uh, I'm asking the players to be compact to them, go and press aggressively. 
Uh, unfortunately, he's just uh, he's jumped the gun a little bit and allowed them. And they've capitalised on it. As I say, it's a VAR decision, VAR decision, when it's gone through, and it hasn't gone all the way this time. The fans will be driving home and they'll, they'll, they'll see how Forest Green and Sutton have gone on today. You know, you find yourself in the bottom two again here. Just how important is that? You know, I mean, you know, the, the league table and you've got to sort of pull yourself out of the bottom two again. Well, as I'm unaware of any results that have gone on so far, so uh, yeah. it's news to me. I could, all I can do is help us control the controllables and control us. Can't affect anybody else. We've got to affect ourselves. Uh, and the lads are working hard on a daily basis. You know, we're up against it at the moment. Everyone's, it's fair to say, but we're trying, we're working. And if we keep doing a lot of the right things that we do, we're going to give ourselves a better opportunity. Positives, as you say, Luke Norris, you know, sort of how close is, is he to 100% at the moment? Well, he's not, but he's obviously been on the pitch. Mm. You know, he's been out for a long time. He's out yeah. for a long time before um, he got back and, and, and got injured. But that's a positive. It's something for us to think, come on, we've got something look, looking forward to. And again, the form of a Robbie after coming on, mm. there's obviously a lot of positives we can go and take from things. However, I know before anyone says, we've got beat. Right, but if we don't look for positives and we don't look for changing our fortune, then you might as well pack in now and we ain't prepared to do that. Obviously, the league's the most important thing. You've got an FA Cup tie coming in in seven days' time and then you do play Forest Green and Sutton after that. Is that any influence at all on your selection or the way you approach that Cup tie at Stevenage next week? No, we always want to win the FA Cup games. No, we've got to go. It's got, it's going to be another tough game. You know, they're, they're a, a team that play in a way and obviously they've got themselves promoted. We're away from home again. But listen, we've got to go there. Our intention is to have a good... Go and win the next game of football, all right? So whichever game we're playing, go and win the next game of football. So that one's going to affect me in, in a way. You know, I want us to go and win every game of football that we've got. And the next game is the next opportunity. And, and you mentioned Robbie Apter there, as you say. You know, once you've got him on the ball, he just shows what a danger dangerous player he can be. He is, very much so. And again, we knew that uh, Stockport County side are very aggressive when they haven't got the ball. You know, a lot of the things, that's why the top of the league are walking away with it at the moment, because of the many things that they go and do and they possess. And I knew that we probably wouldn't have an opportunity to play a lot of passing today because they, they press really, really quickly and aggressively. But a couple of times that we did get Robbie on the, on the ball, you know, looked a massive threat, didn't he? He was good. So I was pleased that I was pleased from a level of fitness that he was able to play as long as he did. Uh, he was cramping up towards the end, but for me, that was really, really a positive performance from Robbie. And final one from me, I suppose. After the Morecambe game, I think everybody felt you saw it. You know, you, you really deserve something from that game, and the players felt the same as well. Is it a slightly different feeling today in the dressing room, or, or do you still see that positivity? We've got to keep going. We've got to have that resilience. And again, it's stages in the game. We knew today we were going to have to be resilient at times easy for me to say, We've got to be resilient at times because we're playing against a very good side in good form. So it's not going to go our way. And again, goalkeeper's got to make some saves. We've got blocks going in there. Players were being committed in that. You probably have to defend a, a lot deeper, especially when you've got 10 men. You have to respect and accept the quality of the opposition at this moment in time. You know, so there's the context of the game. But um, from my point of view, we've got to keep going. Don't throw the towel in. We've got to keep going. We've got to pick ourselves up, learn the lessons and go again. And that's what resilience is all about. And that's what being a team is all about. And that's what we've got to have, that grit and determination, that passion and perseverance to keep going. And eventually it will turn and it'll turn because we'll make it turn.